decomposition reaction a chemical reaction is a process that leads to the transformation of one set of chemical substances to another the substance or substances initially involved in a chemical reaction is called a reactant or a reagent and the newly evolved chemical substance is called the product there are many types of chemical reactions chemists have classified them as combination reaction decomposition reaction displacement reaction and double displacement reaction depending on the chemical changes that take place in the reaction in a combination reaction two or more substances combine to form a new compound whereas in a decomposition reaction a single compound undergoes a reaction that produces two or more simpler substances in a displacement reaction one element replaces a similar element in the compound whereas in a double displacement reaction the ions of two compounds exchange places in an aqueous solution to form two new compounds the aim of this experiment is to find the action of heat on ferrous sulfate crystals and classify it as a combination reaction decomposition reaction displacement reaction or double displacement reaction materials required hydrated ferrous sulfate crystals bunsen burner boiling tubes test tube holder and spatula procedure take a small quantity of hydrated ferrous sulfate crystals and transfer it into a dry boiling tube using a spatula hold the boiling test tube with a test tube holder and note the color of the hydrated ferrous sulfate crystals which may be light green in color heat the boiling tube over the flame of a bunsen burner on heating the color of the crystals change from light green to white this is due to the formation of anhydrous ferrous sulfate that is produced on heating hydrated ferrous sulfate crystals anhydrous ferrous sulfate is formed due to the loss of water molecules on heating hydrated ferrous sulfate crystals on further heating the white substance changes to a dark brown solid while heating smell the fumes coming out of the boiling tube and note the odor here anhydrous ferrous sulfate decomposes to form a dark brown solid that is ferric oxide sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide which are emitted out of the boiling tube as gases finally transfer the dark brown substance in the boiling tube into a watch glass and label it as ferric oxide from the observation it becomes clear that this is a decomposition reaction as a single reactant anhydrous ferrous sulfate breaks down to give simpler products like ferric oxide sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide precautions always use a test tube holder while heating the test tube avoid inhalation of sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide as they may cause difficulty in breathing